I'm getting blind. What the hell is this? What's up everybody, it's that white boy from the yard back at it again with another video my personal experience video about S4 the injectable version which is Winivar how the cycle went, what dosages and especially side effects at first I'm not a doctor, I don't have any form of medical degrees whatsoever I don't pretend to be a doctor, I don't listen to what I say, this is all my personal opinion and how I see things and what it would do to my body always go to a doctor before using any form of supplementation okay so one of the compounds I experimented with earlier uh, was S4 Andarine, the injectable version, which is Winivar. The name says it, it has so-called results such as uh, Winstrol and Anavar. So I kind of used it to get like extravascular and cut down in a couple of weeks. Remain a little bit le leaner this off season before actually trying to put on a lot more muscle mass. I stacked it with Rage Balloon, Cauterine and YK11 every now and then whenever I felt like it. Uh, ticket pre-workout so I rotated dosages you know I started off small like I always do and I started off with injecting every other day eventually I went up to 60 milligrams of Winivar every day I didn't want to get any higher because of the so-called eye floater side effects well the lowest actual recommended dosage for Winivar is 80 milligrams I decided because of I was stacking them with multiple compounds um, I didn't want to go any higher so I started at 0.25 ml and eventually I went up to 0.6 ml I didn't experience any side effects at all until I bought myself a new cool ass lead for my camera I was really excited to try it out you know and uh, I mounted it on the camera and when I turned it back on and I accidentally then they looked right into it. I was like, oh fuck, I'm getting blind. What the hell is this? Then I had the feeling like I was disoriented and I saw all these weird blind spots in my eyes. Almost the same like when you would be looking into direct sunlight for too long. But usually when that happens, it's gone very quick, but somehow it triggered the eye floater effect because every time after that, when I looked into a light or just sometimes the TV or even looking on my phone was some sort of uncomfortable looking at my phone, you know, from yellow to brown and sometimes even green spots. Now, my body always overreacts to stuff to begin with. I think just tend to, you know, work really fast. Um, this was just a couple of days into it and eventually, like I said, I was fine, you know, until I looked into direct light. A couple of days later it stopped and then I didn't notice any further eye floater effects at all. But I wasn't stupid enough to look into direct sunlight. <laughs> You know, that definitely helped. So if you ask me, the Anderine S4 and also the injectable form, which is Winivar, uh, the eye floater side effect is real. And it don't immediately occur if you ask me, like I said. Um, with the orals, they tend to come faster than with the injectable versions. But like I said, for me, it just triggered looking into direct light. But again, this is person dependent. Everyone's body responds differently. To, to these compounds and again I was stacking it so I was occupying the androgen receptor with multiple compounds that was it for today's video if you guys like the video please don't forget to subscribe go out to my Instagram drop a follow there as well don't forget to tap the sources link in the bio check out from the art nation .com. go out to anabolic TV subscribe there as well and that was it for today's video like I said thanks a lot for watching I'm out